Yeah. Right, what have we got, boys? Eddie, I know we're here to talk about the Wales game, but um, big news in terms of the tournament itself this morning. Um, news that the Italy game is set to be postponed. Where did you get your reaction to that? Yeah, well, it's massive news, uh, us playing Wales on Saturday. Massive, because it's going to be an unbelievable game of rugby. You know, they're a well-caged team. We know they, they've, got, they've lost their last two, so they're going to come hard at us. And that's the only thing we can talk about, guys. You don't want to talk about the Italy postponement well, at all? The only thing we've got to worry about is playing Wales on Saturday. That's the only thing we have to worry about. And we don't think any other way. Would you have any preference whether it's played play behind closed doors or whether the game was On played? Saturday? As I said, the, the, the only thing I want to talk about is Wales on Saturday because that's the only thing that concerns us. So I'm sorry, sorry to disappoint you. No, that's okay. Um, what are you expecting from Wales on Saturday? Uh, well, they've, you know, they've lost two games. Uh, they've got a new coach. They want to be making a, a statement on, on Saturday. Traditionally, our games are very close, tight, tight games. And they're going to come with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy. Um, you know, they're two veterans I'm sure will lead the way, Owens and um, Alan Wynne-Jones, and they're going to be a tough team. Do you see a different Wales under Kivak compared to Gatlin? Uh, look, I think they pass the ball a little bit more. Um, but there isn't any great change at the moment. You know, they're still a, a very good team. They're semi-finalists at the World Cup. You know, to get the semi-final of the World Cup, you've got to be a good team. Is this a rivalry you enjoy as a coach? Uh, well, I think you know the last three games are the ones that are great for England, uh, playing Scotland, Ireland, and, and Wales. Um, and you know they're traditional, they're tough. They're, it means a lot to all the countries. So yeah, no, it's a it's a good weekend. And how big a boost is it having Anthony Watson back? Yeah, no, he's trained really well. Uh, you know, we haven't seen much of him, but he's come back in. He's fully fit and ready to go. Uh, well, again, mate, the only thing we're worried about is beating Wales. Eddie, the other change sees Mark Wilson come back into the starting 50. Mark's had a knee operation, as we know. Just tell me a bit about how hard he's worked to officially actually get back into your squad, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and look, he's had a hard route. Uh, you know, he was great for us during the World Cup. He's a terrific team man. Had to go through a, a knee operation and, and rehab, and he's come back in and he's... he's fit, full of beans and added a lot of energy to the team. I remember when we talked a couple of years ago, you should mention how Chris Robshaw at that point was kind of your glue almost of your back row. Could we almost in a way, when available, put Mark in that bracket with his consistency and so on? Well, he's a great team man, um, like, like Chris Robshaw and, and those sort of guys in the back row particularly are invaluable. Uh, Sam Underhill not involved, is there a particular reason? Yeah, he got a bit of a knock at training, so we didn't consider him for selection this week. Anything? Hopefully not too serious. As not you know. too serious. And just on the other side of it, Jonathan Joseph, the cracking effort on the wind in the last game, not involved, any thinking there? Yeah, just very unlucky, mate. Um, you know, Anthony's come back in, we decided to pick a special swinger, so you all must be happy about that. Um, and uh, JJ just misses out, he's trained really well. You know, it's, it was one of those difficult selection decisions, it's tough on him. I've got to ask a question about Mako Vunapola not playing for England this weekend, but quite possibly playing for Saracens against Leicester. How frustrating is that from your point of view? No, it's not at all. Um, I just watched the interview with uh, Jurgen Klopp. I thought he summed it up pretty well. Yeah, we take advice, we take medical advice on what's right for the team, and, and we follow that. Yeah, we're not smart enough to make our decisions ourselves. We believe we made the right decision. And, Saracens think otherwise, then, then f fair play. And as your assistant Steve Walter kind of alluded to, the fact that we're in 24-7 camp environment here, maybe that has a, a slight bearing if you go out there on the side of caution? Well, just the advice was that it, it was best not for him to come to camp, and, and so we take that advice. How is the mood within the camp, given that, given what James has discussed, obviously, with the weekends to come? How is everybody? No, everyone's focused on Wales. We had a great training run yesterday. Boys are excited about playing Wales. You've got to remember they beat us last year, so we owe them one. Given the fact it may or may not become a, a free hit, and this effectively almost is the end of the tournament for now for you, does that almost free your players up to just go out no, there? No, not at all, not at all.
Oh, and I'll go back to the point Eddie made there. A year ago, obviously, England lost in Cardiff. Leading the game, it was pretty galling, wasn't it? To lose the game. Uh, and, and yeah, and your thoughts a year on playing them again, I guess, in another Six Nations. Match. No, always, always disappointing to lose to lose them games, but um, you know, Saturday is a brilliant opportunity for us. Um, we're playing, we're playing a good, a good tough team, and as Eddie said, it's it's always it's always normally a, a really close game, and um, we're looking for them to, t to turn up ready, and we're trying to do the same. Just your take on the players coming back in, Anthony Watson, first of all. Anthony's obviously a brilliant player, uh, can make things happen, big, athletic, uh, got brilliant footwork and, and good in the air, so we'll be looking to use him. And Mark Wilson back at the cold face in the back row. Yeah, brilliant energy to him, uh, gets through a lot of work, a lot of unseen stuff, um, is brilliant to have in the squad. How has it been for you this week seeing Mako Dunapola not involved for the reasons we've just discussed with Eddie as a man you know so well? Uh, it's, it's, it's been business as usual for us. Uh, we've been getting on with what's in front of us. Um, we've been making sure that we've paired the best we can for, for, for Saturday. And as we said, it's building up nicely at the minute. Have you been in touch with Mako as obviously a guy you know so well for club and country? Uh, yeah, I spoke to him. Um, he's, he's all right. Good. And just in terms of the match itself, it's a huge one, isn't it, for England? England-Wales is always, I guess, one of those that you ink in the calendar as, as a real highlight. Yeah, um, you know the Six Nations is full of, is full of them games, and and this being this being a big one of them. Um, as I said, we we're excited to to get out there in a, on a massive opportunity on on Saturday, and, and we've been per, been preparing in that way. Maybe just finally for this is contained. Yeah, again, you know, there's more appropriate people than me to speak about that topic. You know, I don't have the knowledge to speak about it, um, and I'm sure that. Everyone who's involved in it's making the right decisions. And are you expecting any surprises from Wales selection or otherwise? Uh, oh, there's some whispers around, but uh, yeah, we'll be prepared for whatever they pick. And are you expecting Dan Bigger to show up and play on Saturday? Uh, we're not really concerned one way or the other. If he plays, it's great. Uh, he's a good player. If he doesn't play, yeah, they've been building some good depth over the last couple of years. I think uh, Warren's done a good job in, the, in that regard and, and whoever plays in his place will, will do a fine job for them. And what is the knock that's keeping someone alive? Uh, he just got knocked to his head. Have we made it well so far in this tournament? Yeah, well, they're very unlucky to, to be beaten by France last week or two weeks ago. Um, all the stats of the game indicated they should have won the game. Um, so we're going to be playing a very, very tough team. Eddie, has much changed in camp this week or the last couple of weeks due to the coronavirus and any extra measures? Uh, we're pretty, pretty good on hygiene. Um, well, most of the players are. Um, yeah, so it hasn't been any real difference for us. We've just been getting on with preparing for the games. Eddie got a fantastic start against Ireland a couple of weeks ago. Um, weren't able to necessarily keep that going through the second half. Has that been the focus for these two weeks, to keep that intensity for 80 minutes if possible? Uh, well, yeah, we'd all love to play for incredible intensity for 80 minutes, but it's, a game of rugby is very difficult. There's an ebb and flow to it. Yeah, we got the flow in the first half, they got a bit in the second half, and I thought, yeah, we ended up winning the game quite comfortably. Um, and so, would we have liked to play with great intensity in the second half? Of course we would have, but uh, yeah, you've got an opposition and, and they bring some energy to the party. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.